morning. It's Christina Dennis, Transformational Self Empowerment Master, and I am coming to you from Salt Lake. So I feel like I don't can't see anything, but hopefully everything looks all right. Um, we're in this Airbnb, and it's a three bedroom, two bath kind of cottage. This darling um, in this area called 900, 900 by ninth. Anyway. It's really, really cute and totally worth it. I was up to 11.30 in the stadium last night listening to about all the new products that are coming from Young Living, and there are some super cool ones like teeth whitening. Um, maybe you don't know that your toothpaste is the most toxic thing. Toothpaste and house cleaners are the most toxic things in your house. And so I use their special uh, toothpaste and love it, but... Um, Nobody, uh, you know, a little whitening isn't going to hurt anybody. Plus, they're introducing CBD oil, and I am stoked. There is a muscle rub that I hear does wonders, and I am on it. So I did that, got back about midnight. That's how long it took. It's late for this girl, and up at 6.30, and on my way to learn a little more about that CBD oil and everything, um, everything oily, everything that's all goodness. But what I want to talk a little bit about is all the feelings um, and what it takes to get out there and be with a bunch of people, um, to stay in a house with a bunch of people, and all of them are lovely, wonderful people. But, uh, you know, I, I have to be honest and say at least 20 times yesterday I felt less than, and I felt like I didn't fit in, and I felt like I was old compared to the group that I was hanging with. They're all about 15 years younger than me. And I felt like I, um, I wasn't enough. And I still pushed through it. I think that's the most important lesson that I learned yesterday, is that I can continue to push through and not lose out on the beauty of the day um, and not lose out on um, the memories and the education that I came here for. And if I can observe myself being... Um, being nervous, uh, having awkward moments, almost flashbacks to high school. If I can observe myself doing that and take the time to be kind to myself. Oh, you sweet little girl. Of course, you're going to have these feelings in a group of people. And of course, it's going to feel like you're not enough um, when you're doing that comparison game. Um, comparison is the... Uh, thief of all joy. I also believe it's the quickest way to insanity. And I believe it's impossible to avoid um, all the time. But I loved the fact that I caught myself multiple times. I love the fact that I reset and did not take one statement as fact or even personal um, beyond just the initial pain. And so I have to say that, um, hi ladies, Thank you all for joining. I have to say that uh, I am really enjoying this growth that's coming in. Um, today I will be a, with a lot of people. There are over 40,000 people that come to Salt Lake City to learn about all this stuff. And I am just going to be really kind and gentle to myself as I do this and try to take the approach, uh, the approach and the thought process that everyone is doing the same thing. So I hope you all have a great day. I hope that you um, think about the things that you can do in your life that are going to make your life better. Um, this is a huge step for me in health and, uh, you know, emotional support and learning. And I could have easily just stayed home. I really could have. But I would have missed out on all of the exciting news and I would have missed out on the personal growth that is happening just by participating and being there. So love you all. Hope you all go out and learn uh, what uh, might excite you and your new adventure. Talk soon. Bye.